Hey everyone, Kate DeRocher here for Red Carpet Report at the Paley Center talking to the cast of DirecTV's Kingdom. <laughs> so tell me, how did you prepare to play this role, MMA, MMA fighter? Uh, it starts with it starts with Oreos and pizza, <laughs> and it ends with Oreos and pizza. I wish. Uh, you know, look, you do a lot of research. You, you, we've been fortunate to hang out with a lot of actual uh, skilled and some some iconic uh, MMA fighters. So we just you just embed yourself in their culture and, and try and try and study as much as you can. Then fortunately, we have uh, excellent writing and. There it is. That helps a little bit. Yeah. How do you physically get in shape, though? How vigorous is your training? Um, <laughs> thank you. Hang on, this gentleman just handed me a cue card. Pizza and Oreos. Um, it's, uh, thank you very much. It's, um, it's just non it's non-stop, and it's a little bit of a Rubik's Cube. You, you know, it's, you're always guessing. You have to... Some 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 weeks the plan works, other weeks it doesn't, and you just improvise. Did you work out a lot before this show? Not like this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is this is uh, it's like threefold because you're doing your conditioning to stay lean, you're doing your lifting to bulk up, and trying to balance the diet with that. So you don't want to get so because we shoot for so long that you don't want to get so lean that you just don't look like a fighter anymore. And then, and then there's the jujitsu and the striking and all that, so you fit that in with the shooting. But it's um, real fighters train really hard for their training camp, and then they like can eat and let their body recuperate. And so we 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 have extended periods of time to maintain. I'm, I don't know, I don't know. Forget what. Get a few cheat days in there, you know the good stuff. It's important to get the pizza in there for sure. That's what I live off of, so I understand that. I do. I don't like working out. I think it's boring. So hats off to you. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ask me again. I'll come up with something funnier to say. <laughs> Tell me again. What's it like getting physically trained? Just kidding. And then what can we expect coming up in this season? You know, uh, it's it's dark. It's it's um. These characters are so. Um, volatile in their relationships already and this new phase of their life I think we're about three months in the future wait are we talking about season two or season 2b this one you're about to see I think we find them about six months later and so we see um, it's a logical evolution for these relationships and for the characters but they a lot of them tend to sort of spiral downward so it gets darker and um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. What's it like playing such a dramatic role? Um, it's a lot of, you know, it's kind of heavy. You have to sort of figure out a way to shake it off. Because it's so all-consuming, like I mentioned before. It's not just the training. The, 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 the characters that Byron has written are so complex and so... Um, sort of indefinable, so complicated, undefinable. I know what you meant. Thank you. That uh, that there's sort of no end to the depths, you know, that you can towards which you can dig. Um, let me do that again because I'm totally distracted by these handsome people beside me. I don't blame you. Um, so, no, the the thing is, that the, the the writing is so complex and the characters are so three dimensional and so complex that you take it home with you. They're so psychological. You can't just show up. I mean, it, it takes a lot of work to kind of unearth where these people are coming from. They're so different from many of us, you know. So, I mean, my character and I are, are so dissimilar. I mean, I'm an artist. He's a fighter. And so, um, you know, you can't help. You take it home and you... It's const, It's like a sort of three-month burn of, like, constantly trying to unpack who that guy is. So I hate to use that term because it's such a boilerplate term, but that's what it is. And... Uh, and so, yeah, there's no there's no rest from it. So, you know, it's not just that it's a dramatic role. It's just that the writing is so damn good. And, um, and you know, there's always new layers. I read every s n new script. We're working on the, the second half of the second season right now. And every new script I read, I'm I'm shocked. And I... And blown away every time. Yeah, you have to then... Well, why would I do that? How do I justify that? And and it just... It's just fuel. I mean, you, you know, it's like for... for you know, we just... Uh, we have a voracious appetite for this 
you know, for the complexities of his writing. How's that? Absolutely. That sounds, sounds like a great smart. character. It does sound smart to me. She's not, I'm, I'm leaning down. She's not that tall. I'm really not. These are just heels, guys. He's definitely taller than me. I'm wearing heels too, but they're just, they're not as high as hers. It's okay. Not everybody can wear these heels. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Nice meeting you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe. And in the comments below, let me know who you would want to fight.